In math, we really attempt to keep things very logical and clear. Given that, there are occasionally things that come along and challenge this a bit. We need to stop and ensure that we have things perfectly clear in our heads once in a while. And an example of this is our notation for an inverse function. If our original function is f in terms of x, then we've been calling the inverse of that f and a superscript negative 1 and our x. And it's possible that you looked at this and thought, well, that looks a lot like an exponent of negative 1, which would indicate a reciprocal. And that's not the same as an inverse. Let's remember that x to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over x, the reciprocal. So how do we be sure to know when we're indicating an inverse and when we're indicating a reciprocal? Well, it's a bit subtle, but it can be cleared up fairly simply by noting where that negative 1 superscript is placed. For an inverse, the negative 1 fits right in between here. For a reciprocal, the negative 1 would have to be outside of it and usually we put brackets to make sure it's perfectly clear. In this first case, the placement of that negative 1 indicates an inverse. In this second case, we recognize that this is a reciprocal, or could be written as 1 over f in terms of x. So, is it a tad bit confusing when you first see this? Yeah, the difference is subtle. Given that, you now have the tools to know what you're looking for, to ensure that you interpret things perfectly correct.